John Deere Drive Green, <laughs> released in 2007. Well, uh, if you're looking for a game where you drive slow-moving farm equipment, look no further. Now, I wouldn't call this a farm simulator. It's more of a farm equipment simulator, I guess. You're basically a farm owner who has a bit of an unusual walking limp, and your goal is to buy farm equipment for your farm by taking up jobs. This game uses actual licensed John Deere equipment brands, such as the classic uh, CX-20 lawnmower. Oh baby, fans rejoice. So you'll make money for your farm by taking up jobs, uh, example, plowing the field of your neighbor Frank. So you'll head up the road and, oops, I just disattached the plow, okay, I'll just have to back up and grab that. And okay, you head up to the field and turn on the plow and here we go. Alright. So in the corner you can see the field, the brown is the unplowed part. When the plow goes over, the area turns green. Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to drive around in circles till it's full. It's all green. Well, technically you're not driving in a circle, it's a square, but you know what I mean. You gain more money when you plow the unplowed spots. If you run over already plowed spots, you get less money. So it certainly pays to be efficient. As you move to the next level, your task might change, such as seeding a field or spraying a field. And the vehicle you're using might have an extra button for you to press, but it's pretty much the same thing. You'll just drive around in circles. And this gets boring really, really fast. This one field here I spent going around in circles for almost 20 minutes. I was in my chair playing this practically half asleep by just pressing the arrow keys back and forth now and again. 20 minutes of this and uh, you just gotta try to entertain yourself when doing this. Hey I know, I'll split the field down the middle and I'll plow one half and then I'll plow the other half afterwards. It'll be like two fields. Fun, fun, whoop de doo oh. So is there any variety? Well, there is a level where you try to find brown stumps on a brown field and pull them with a rope, and you do get a nice change of scenery when you go to a nine-hole golf course and mow the lawn. Yeah, I'm playing a video game where I'm mowing the lawn on a golf course. Only one thing to do at a time like this. Go into first-person mode and play heavy metal music. So I looked ahead at the next couple levels and it looked like more of those just going in circles on a field and you know, I just, I can't take any more of this. I, I can't keep playing. And what about the farm? Well, all you're going to do is buy equipment and pretty much do the exact same stuff. It's just more sandboxy, I guess. You know, I don't even care anymore. So you might ask, well, can you speed up the game while you're driving around the fields? Well, yes, but you lose that accuracy of going slow. So afterwards, you're just going to have to drive around the field and look for all the spots you missed anyway. So you just can't win. So overall, it's got some nice models of the John Deere vehicles, and it tries to accurately simulate the tasks you're doing by going slow. However, I can only recommend this game to people who are, well, looking to put themselves into a mild comatose state. So there you have it, John Deere's Drive Green. Thanks for watching. <laughs>